working on trimming the fly LED boards to fit in here. You'll see, trying to get them nice aligned there. Uh, it looks pretty good so far. Might have to trim a little bit later, but it looks like I've got enough gap around the edge. Uh, but to give you a comparison, here's how much. So if you look at this board here, uh, let me get up here in the light, you can see there's a fair bit that needs to be trimmed off. So just a FYI, and I've been using my, and by the way, you can't trim the front edge. So you're rounding the back and you'll see on here, there's, you know, there's a fair bit of buffer here, but uh, I've been using my Scotch right wheel. Works pretty good. Run it through there a bazillion times and you finally get it to where you want it to be. Thought I'd uh, share this as I go through this part of the build as well. Like I said, I'm trying to just get bits and pieces done. They got them out of the way and uh, to change it up a little bit from working on one thing like the cabin top. Started working on the fairings for the wing tips. Uh, working on the enclosure. I already have the boards made uh, for the nav lights and the strobes. This is, uh, it was interesting. The piece is actually starts out this size. Maybe me thinks it's a little big, but anyway. Um, and then you end up trimming it down to this size. And it's a little tricky because it's shaped. So as you trim it down, it starts sitting lower and lower and lower. But I think I've got it pretty good. It sits here on these two edges, which was my initial goal. And then based on that, I just trimmed up the sides. And now I just need to uh, drill a hole on each side, I think it is, uh, to accept the rivets. And then I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see. Um, not exactly sure. I mean, I would have thought this would be a little more watertight, but I haven't looked at the, all the instructions yet to see what else you need to do. But I'll end up putting a gasket in here almost definitely. But uh, that's it. And for to do this, I originally started out with my Dremel tool cutting it. This gets too hot and it melts it. You can see here. So it melted it uh, pretty good. Maybe you do it a little slower, it'd be okay. I then moved on to my bandsaw, which worked really well. It cut it nice and clean. I used that to get it roughly to where I wanted it to be as I kept cutting it down. And then ultimately, back to the old scotch Bright reel, uh, use that to kind of finesse it down and what you'll find is as you as you mark it and start shaping it and get it sitting when you cut it to the mark lines it actually doesn't fit perfectly you can keep moving it down and down and down and you'll see now like if I tap it it doesn't move uh, that tells me it's kind of seated in here pretty good the out the sides are a little out but that's because there's no screw in them yet. But once the screw goes in, that'll pull the sides in like so, and uh, it'll be good. But I thought I'd share this. This is one side done. This took me about an hour and a half. So not exactly swift, uh, but uh, I was a little concerned about cutting down too much. Didn't know how finicky it was gonna be, blah, blah, blah. But I think uh, it works. Pretty good as is. There you have it. The other thing I was able to do is, this is the other side. Still needs a little bit of tweaking before I drill the holes in it, but it's pretty close. So that, I've got to cut out the insides so that I can mount the boards in there because the, the strobe and nav lights have to be recessed. And then I've got to go and get rid of all this nasty mold. Uh, pieces out of here yet so I've got to clean that up and by the way as you're doing this you really have to cut this groove in here to get a nice lip so that when you put this piece on you'll see you know it just it sits in there nicely <clears throat> right and like I mentioned the thing for me was cut it down to this to the basic shape and then just keep trimming it down. And of course, as you trim it down, it's gonna sink into this. As it sinks into it, you gotta trim more of it out. And so, uh, you know, you just gotta take it in, in bits and pieces. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for this round. 
So there's what it looks like. Holes drilled. This is one side. A uh, little bit of a lip there, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. But uh, I don't know what they put in here for a gasket, but I'll do something. But you can see the fly LED boards mounted in here. Well, they're actually not mounted. So if I actually remove these Clecos, that comes off these boards are just laid in here and what I've done is I've had to oh well, let's start with the back one I've had to cut out the sections so that the boards fit in here because they've got components on the bottom side so that's kind of what I've cut out still need to round it out a little bit but uh, you know you get the gist and it just lays in here and I haven't decided yet I've seen that they've said you can just tape them in or you can screw them in but I'm not sure have to see where it goes but i thought i'd share that and uh yeah you do just need to open that up and now you've got it all set so there it is lens complete the slots cut out for the nav and strobes um it fits pretty good counter sog for those and the plates are installed a uh, little bit of a lip out here so i'll probably put some I'll put something in here just to make it a little snugger around, but uh, overall, pretty good.